How's it going, everybody? Welcome to today's Stick Mobility class. I am Coach Ray. Thank you for joining me. By the way, Happy New Year to all you wonderful folks out there. So for today's class, I did want to focus mainly on recovery. And we're just going to get into a lot of different movements. We're going to get into some slap shots, some ninja flow, just working in and out of different ranges. We're not going to add too much tension to it. But again, we're just focusing on some of that recovery here. Okay. So I do have two long sticks and I have a pad for us to kneel on because we are going to need that later on. And I'm going to use the ramp behind me has a corner of a wall for us to kind of lean into and work on some rotational half kneeling drills here. Okay. So we're just going to start at the feet and ankles first. Okay. I'm going to take a wider than shoulder width stance. Okay. Feet are going to be facing forward. I want to keep the sticks in line with my big toe on both feet. And I want to have my hands at roughly about shoulder height. Now, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to drop into that horse stance. I want to keep my pelvis stacked under my spine. Okay. Keep the hips and torso level to where they are. So I'm going to bring that right heel up first. Okay. Make sure all five toes are planted into the floor. And then I'm going to switch. I'm going to drop that right heel. Left heel comes up nice and slow right behind. Hover that right heel off the floor. Good. Switch right heel up, left heel down. Good. Hover the heel, left heel up, right heel down. Good. Switch right heel up, left heel down. Good. Left heel up, right heel down. Excellent. Let's go two more each way. Right heel up, left heel down. Good. Left heel up, right heel down. Good. Switch. Right heel up, left heel down. Good. Left heel up and right heel down. Good. Bring them both down and go ahead and come out here. Okay. Good. So we're actually just going to move on straight on the hips. Okay. I wanted to put a lot of focus on this. So what we're going to do here is we're first going to start with posterior and anterior pelvic tilts. Okay. So I'm going to have my feet about shoulder width, maybe a little bit more narrow on my feet pointed forward. We're going to actually move the feet out to create more space in the hips as we go along here. So I want to have the sticks in line with my mid toe here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to slide, I'm going to drive both sticks into the floor and both sticks are angled in towards me. So I'm going to drive both sticks into the floor here. What I'm going to do posterior anterior. So I'm going to do a posterior tilt, squeeze my glute to roll my pelvis under me. Okay. Good. And I'm going to do an anterior tilt. You should feel those mid and low back muscles tighten. Posterior tilt. Good. Anterior tilt. Posterior tilt. And anterior tilt. Good. Back to center. I'm gonna wiggle my feet out once. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little, a little bit of a wider stance here. Okay. Same thing. Drive the six into the floor, 20% tension, posterior tilt, squeeze the glutes, anterior tilt, make sure you're breathing, posterior tilt, anterior tilt, posterior, squeeze those glutes. Hold that pelvis under you. You still be staying tall. Anterior tilt. Back to center. Now shift those feet out one more time. Now we're going to go to a much wider stance here. Okay, we're going to do that same thing. As we do a posterior tilt here, really make sure you're trying to abduct. So drive your knees away from one another here, okay? So drive six in the ground, 20, 30% tension, posterior tilt. You're going to notice it's a lot harder to get that posterior tilt here. Anterior tilt. A lot easier going to anterior. Posterior tilt. Good. 
Anterior tilt. One more time. Posterior tilt. Good. Anterior tilt. Back to center and relax. Good. So I'm going to bring my feet back in one last time. Now we're going to go with lateral tilts here. The difference is I'm actually going to go a slight bit offset. So if you look from the side, I want to have my, so I'm at my right foot forward. My left big toe is effectively in line with the arch of my right foot here. That's the position that we're going for. Okay. And so what I'm going to do from here, this is where it's going to be a little more challenging to control. I want to bump my pelvis to the right. Okay. And then bump to the left. It's going to be the same thing. Again, we're just shifting the, uh, the hip, hips in a little bit of a different position here. Okay. So both feet still remain flat. You can adjust your back foot if you want to have it at the, or you can have your big toe at your heel. So still driving the six down, both six down, shoulders down. You want to make sure you stay up tall. Okay, get into a little bit of that horse stance here, bend the knees a bit. Now I'm gonna bump my hips up to the right. Should feel that right glute firing. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna bump my hips up to the left. Good, bump to the right. Good, bump to the left. Excellent, bump to the right. Bump to the left. Bump to the right. Excellent, bump to the left. Good, back to center. Now we're gonna switch sides, right? So I'm gonna face forward here so you can actually see what it looks like from the front as well. Okay, again, both feet, they remain flat, okay? So, six are in that same position here, arms straight, Sink down a little bit, bend those knees, drive the six into the floor, okay? 20, 30% tension. I'm gonna bump my hip to the left. Bump the hips to the right. Bump your hips to the left. Good, bump my hip up to the right. So driving those sticks down, don't move the spine. Bump to the left. Excellent, bump to the right. One more time each way, bump to the left. And bump to the right. Excellent, back to center and relax. Good. So we're gonna place one stick down, okay? What we're gonna do here, we're gonna work on some rotations in a hinged position, okay? If you're very familiar with this one, we do this one when uh, with our glutes against the wall to kind of block some of that excessive movement here. But let's really try to focus on only getting that rotation if we can manage it here, right? So I'm gonna go with the stance that's wider than the shoulder width. I want my toes pointed forward here, okay? Now the stick is behind my back or my mid back and the crooks of my elbows here, okay? Now what I wanna do from here is I wanna drive my hips back, okay? I wanna get a good hinge. So the lower you can get into the hinge, the better. If you can only get to here, that's totally fine too, okay? So, if you can get a low hinge here, okay? Send those hips back, trying to keep the spine as neutral as we possibly can here. I'm gonna use my right hand. I'm gonna slide my right hand on my in on inner thigh of my right leg, and I'm gonna drive, get some rotation here. Now I'm looking at the ground here because I want to keep my eyes focused on the focal point. I'm going to slowly come back. Now I'm going to do the opposite side. Slide that left hand on the inner thigh of the left leg. Again, keeping your eyes and head fixed on the focal point directly down. Okay, so we don't want any cervical rotation here, at least not rotating this way. Come out slowly. Deep breath in, breathe out, slide that right hand in. Good, slowly come out. Now slide that left hand on your inner thigh.
really trying to get that right shoulder back. Okay. Slide back out. Let's go one more time each way. Slide that right hand on your inner thigh. Good. Slowly come out. Slide that left hand on your inner thigh. Big air in. Slowly come out. Good, come back up. Excellent, okay, pretty good there, right? Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna focus on just hinging, okay? Really trying to focus on opening up those hips, okay? For one, but also focusing on getting the hips into a hinging pattern. So, I'll face forward here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a pretty wide stance, okay? About so. And I actually do want my feet to be angled out a little bit, or as much as whatever's comfortable for you. Again, this is gonna be completely dependent upon you, right? So, my uh, stick is still at the crooks of my elbows here, okay? I wanna have my hands on my rib cage, and I wanna use that as a way to kind of make sure I'm controlling my rib cage. I wanna keep my rib cage down. I don't want it to flare, I wanna keep it down. What I'm gonna do from here, keep my hands on my ribs. I'm gonna to start to slowly hinge back, okay? Soft knees, and I wanna get as much of a hinge as I can. Once you find a hamstring stretch, hold that position. Back up, squeeze those glutes. Let's go into it again, okay? But do something a little bit different on the second one here. I'm gonna hinge, keep control of that rib cage, drive those hips back, soft knees. Now I'm low enough here to where I can actually kind of utilize my inner thigh to get a little more leverage. So I'm gonna press my hands on my inner thigh and kind of pull myself down a little bit more. Breathe, come back up. Let's go one more time here, okay? Same thing, ribs down, okay? Drive those hips back. Good. Get as low as you can. You should be able to get a little lower, okay? Again, you can use those hands, grab on the end of the thigh, push down a little further, control your breathing. Slowly come up. Excellent. Wiggle those feet in. Okay. Good. Excellent. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to go to a split stance position here, and we're going to work on some rotational drills from that position. Only going to still need one stick for this one here. Okay. So what I want to do here, I'm actually going to rotate uh, face kind of diagonally so you can kind of see for one, what my hips are doing and how my spine's moving, but also what the stick is doing. So, the main thing here is, you wanna make sure that the right hand, this is my left leg is forward, right foot is back, I wanna make sure my right hand is on top here, okay? This effectively allows for me to really pull that shoulder across and really drive it, drive it going across this way here, okay? So with the stick, I'm gonna have it in line with the arch of my left foot, my right foot is gonna be back. I don't wanna create a huge split, just a little bit of a split here. I'm gonna take my right hand and place it up over to the top of my right, uh, left hand, and I wanna have my hands at roughly about shoulder height, okay? Now, with my front foot, I wanna keep it a little loaded, right? So I'm gonna drive that knee forward. I'm gonna drive the stick into the ground with about 20 to 30% tension here, and I wanna squeeze that right glute to lock it in the hip into extension here, okay? What I'm gonna do from here, still driving that stick down, I'm going to rotate the stick over to nine o'clock, keeping the shoulders down. So you're gonna get quite a bit of rotation in a rib cage and a T-spine here. That's what we're going for. I'm gonna slowly come back forward. Make sure the stick is, my hands are aligned with my center. Do that same thing again. We're gonna rotate a couple more times here. So driving the stick down about 20, 30% tension, rotate your chest 
should be rotating along with the stick. And breathe. Slowly come back. Now, the reason why we're driving down is we're getting a little bit of that core activation, right? You should be feeling your obliques turn on and your lats a little bit. Keep driving the stick down. Rotate. Again, rotate that chest. Should be getting a little further rotation here as we go into it. Three, two, one. Bring it back forward and ease off. We're gonna switch sides here, okay? Now I'll go from a front view because what we don't want is we don't want leakage of the hips here. So, right foot is forward, okay? Left foot is back. Stick is on uh, outside of my right foot. Line up with the arch. Again, left hand is on top this time, okay? We gotta switch hands. So, we're gonna do that same thing, load that front leg. Squeeze that back glute, drive the stick into the ground, 20, 30% tension. And I'm gonna rotate to my right. Again, I'm trying to get my chest to rotate. Try to rotate to three o'clock if you can't. Hold that position. Good, back to center. Good. So a couple more rotations here. Make sure our left glute is tight, locking our hip into extension. Backs to center. Let's go again. Okay. Rotate to the right. Three, two, one. Slowly back forward. And ease off. Good. So a little bit of a standing rotational drill there. Just work from a split stance there, right? So let's go and open up that T-spine. Then we'll get into some activation drills here. So now we're gonna do here, just gonna focus on again, opening up that T-spine. So really try to lengthen it. Okay, so I'll actually go a little bit diagonal so you can kind of see, again, how my hips are moving relative to my spine. Now, for this, I'm actually gonna keep my hands roughly about shoulder height, okay? If you wanna start up higher, you totally can. This just makes it so you don't have to hinge back as far, just in case hinging may not be the most comfortable positioning for you. So, hands are at roughly about shoulder height here. I'm gripping the sticks. I'm lightly pushing sticks into the ground, only about 15 to 20% tension here. Okay, feet are as wide as shoulder width, toes pointed forward. I'm gonna drive my hips back and reach my hands out. Should be feeling a stretch in that T-spine here, right? Breathe. Back up, nice and slow. Good. He's off, okay? We're gonna go into it again. Deep breath in, exhale, reach those hands out, drive those hips back. Three, two, one, knees off, slowly come up. Excellent, Let's take a break, awesome. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're simply just gonna get into working on some activation drills. So, we're gonna first focus on activating the hips, gonna work with some internal external rotation along with some hip flexion. After that, we'll go through some core activation, so specifically is gonna be with a half kneeling position, okay? We're also just gonna focus on uh, activating that lat a little bit, just a little bit, again, just to kind of get some recovery going here, right? So, first thing I wanna do, okay, I'm gonna have my feet at roughly about, so right next to each other, okay, feet touching, 
And so what I want to do, I want to make sure the sticks are angled in towards me. So they're right about in line with my toes here. Okay. And so what I want to do here, gripping the sticks at roughly about shoulder height. First thing I'm going to do, we're just going to focus on that hip flexion here. So I'm going to drive the sticks down, keep my rib cage down here. Okay. We're going to start off by lifting that right leg first. So from here, keep that left leg straight, bring that right knee up. Hold. Three, two, one, back down. And ease off. Now the amount of tension we're trying to generate is again about 40 to 50% tension. We're not trying to go to maximum effort. We're just focused on getting some activation here. We're gonna do one more isometric hold. Then we're gonna do it in repetition. So it'll be a little bit different here. So same thing, arms straight, shoulders down. Ribs down, drive the sticks into the floor, about 40, 50% tension. Keep that left leg straight, bring that right knee up. Hold, keep that left leg straight. Three, two, one, back down. Ease off, excellent. Now we're gonna do repetitions. So we're gonna do a one second hold. We're gonna do 10, okay? I know it's a lot. We're not doing a hold here, okay? We're not doing a long hold. So, same thing. Keep, your, just keep that tension of driving the sticks to the ground the entire time. You never lose tension here, okay? So, arms straight, ribs down, drive the shoulders down, push sticks into the floor, okay? Bring that right hip up. <sighs> hold, good. Back down, touch your toe to the floor, and back up again. <sighs> Two. Touch, three, touch, four, touch, five, touch, six, touch, seven, touch, eight, touch, nine, Touch, 10, ease off and relax. Now we're gonna switch sides here. So, same thing, okay? Arms straight, shoulders down, go ahead and activate 40, 50%. Drive those sticks into the floor. Right leg straight, left knee up. Three, two, one, back down. Ease off that tension. Excellent, we're gonna do one more, then we're gonna do 10 reps again, okay? Arms straight, shoulders down. Drive those sticks into the floor. Hold. Three, two, one, back down. Ease off, good. Now we're gonna do the 10 reps here, okay? Drive six down, 40, 50%, okay? Right leg straight, bring the left knee up. Good, down, touch the toes, back up. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Back down, ease off. Good, okay. So now we're gonna work on internal external rotation. So with this, this is gonna depend on your mobility and what you have access to. So if you have good mobility, you can always bring the sticks out a little bit wider if need be. So. Feet together, okay? Now, I'm gonna mainly start, I'm gonna start my right leg first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my right foot is aligned with the middle of the sticks here, okay? So it might be, it's gonna be shifted to the left, or to the right, just a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the, hold that hip 
at a 90 degree angle, okay, at hip height, focus on internal external rotation, just tapping each stick, okay? We're gonna do 10 taps per side. So, arms straight, shoulders down, drive the sticks into the floor, right knee up, gonna externally rotate, internal, that's one. External, internal two, external, internal three, external, internal four, external, internal five, external, internal six, external, internal seven, external, internal eight, external, internal nine, external, internal 10. Back down, ease off, good. We're gonna switch sides. We're gonna do that same exact thing. So if you're finding that your hips are bumping, just reduce that range of motion, right? Bring it in a little closer if need be, okay? Or maybe you need to bring your hip down a little lower. So, same thing. Okay, drive the sticks down, push them into the floor. Okay, shoulders down, left knee up. External, internal, one, external, internal, two, external, internal, three, external, internal, four, external, internal, five, external, internal, six, external, internal, seven, external, internal, eight, nine, ten. Back down, and he's off. Good. Okay, so now let's work a little bit on core, okay? So again, I wanted to do a little bit of rotation here. So this is where the pad kind of comes in, right? So we're gonna do it from a half kneeling position. And all we're gonna do here is think about a half kneeling plank. So we're gonna start from this position here, we're gonna start with the six out of 11 and one, and then we're gonna move accordingly. So, the main thing with this is, we don't have to focus on the lower body as much, because again, we're in a full nailing position, but you still wanna make sure your hips are staying forward. So, do not lose that control of the hips. So if you're finding that you're starting to shift over to one side, you're just rotating a little bit too far here, okay? so. Six, both six are at about 11 and one, okay? Now I wanna stay up tall, okay? My back feet, my, I'm dorsiflexing my ankle so my big toes are into the floor, okay? First start by driving my feet into the floor, squeeze my glutes from here. I'm just gonna drive both sticks down Then both sticks are angled in towards me. So push, about 50%. Good, three, two, one, ease off. We're gonna do one more rep, okay? And then we're gonna start adding in those rotations. So, arms straight, shoulders down, rib cage down, squeeze those glutes, and push the six to the floor, 50% still. Three, two, one, ease off. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that left stick to 10, right stick to 12, okay? I'm not rotating my hips, I'm rotating my shoulders into it, okay? I'm gonna change the angle of the left stick and angle it in towards me a little bit more, okay? Just so I don't lose that line of tension. So, same thing, all right? Now push both sticks to the floor, 50%. You should feel those obliques kick on. Keep those hips facing forward, it should be square. Three, two, one, ease off. Good. Okay, let's go one more here. Arms straight, shoulders down, hips forward, and drive. Keep those glutes tight. Make sure you breathe. Three, two, one, good, ease off. Excellent, so now we're gonna switch. Right stick comes to two, left stick comes to 12, okay? 
Again, adjust the sticks, angle the bottoms in towards you so you don't lose that line of tension, okay? Arm straight, okay? Glutes tight, hips forward, all right? Drive sticks to the floor. Hold, three, two, one. Ease off, good. If you're cramping, that's okay. I'm cramping a little bit here too, just a little bit. All right, same thing, okay? Arm straight, hips forward, shoulders down. Drive those sticks to the floor. Three, two, one, good, ease off. Excellent. Now, we're gonna work on activating that lat a little bit, right? So, for this one, we are only gonna need one stick. I'm gonna move the pad to the side because we don't need it for now. I'll place this down. So what we're gonna do here, so I'm actually going to set myself up in a hinged position here, okay? So, in terms of where the stick is, six on my right side of my body, right? I'm gonna grab my left hand and make sure that, and I'll grab the end of with my left hand. I want my arm to be fully stretched out here, okay? And I wanna take about shoulder width stance, toes pointed forward. From this position, I'm gonna hinge back just a little bit, okay? Now, my the bottom of the stick is right outside my right leg here. And so what I want to do with this left hand is I want to drive that stick back about 50% tension. I'm going to grip with my hand right about where the sticker is or straight down. And I'm going to pull that hand up towards my hip. I want to keep it that way. About 50% tension. Three, two, one. I'm going to ease off. I'm going to rotate the stick a bit. Okay, almost like we do for bow and arrow, right? Same thing, okay? Drive that stick down with the left hand, pull up with the right. Should be feeling that lat engage here, okay? That's what we're going for. Three, two, one, ease off. Rotate that stick again, okay? One more time, drive the stick down with the left hand, pull up with the right towards the hip. Hold, three, two, one, and ease off. Stand back up, switch sides. So the reason I'm telling you to pull towards your hip is because reflexively, you should, you're not only just pulling up, but you're actually kind of driving that hand back, so you're almost getting that shoulder extension. That's what creates that better connection to the lats here, okay? So, positioning is still the same. Right hand's at the end, arm is stretched out, okay? I'm gonna hinge back just a bit. Grab the stick straight down with my arm straight, okay? With the right hand, drive it into the corner of the wall. Pull that left hand up towards the hip. <sighs> Breathe. Three, two, one, ease off. <sighs> Good. Rotate the stick a bit. Okay, same thing. Drive that right hand back, pull that left hand towards the hip. And remember, your hips are back, right? Your hips aren't directly over your hand. It's actually back behind. And ease off. One more time, rotate your hand, or rotate the stick a little bit, sorry. Okay, last one. Drive that right hand back, 50%. Pull up with the left towards the hip. Three, two, one, ease off, and relax. Excellent, good. Really quick, really simple, not that hard, right? So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get into some stretching. We're gonna open everything up here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on stretching out that posterior sling a little bit, okay? So again, we're gonna need one stick here, and I'll place the stick down like so. And again, I'm gonna use the ramp has if it's a corner of a wall here. Now the objective of this is to lean into it, 
Okay, that's what we're going for here. We want to lean into the stretch or drop that hip down towards the bottom of the stick here. So my right knee is going to be down. This is a six on the right side of my body. So I want the leg that's closest to the wall, the theoretical wall here. Uh, I want that hip down. Okay. Now the stick, bottom of the stick is going to be roughly about in line with the arch of my front foot here. Okay. Now the hand is closest to the wall, close to the bottom of the stick here is going to be reaching up. Okay. And I want to actually have this arm locked out. Okay. And I want my shoulder blade to punch out. So we're really trying to get that extension or that pronated shoulder blade going out as much as we can here. I'm going to grip with my left hand. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to simply drop my hip, my right hip down towards the bottom of the stick and reach with that right hand. Now what you're going to feel here is you're going to feel that lat open up. Okay. That upper back get a little bit of a stretch there, especially if you're really, really tight. Okay. And we're just reaching across the body. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to slowly come out. Good. Now I can adjust the bottom of the stick to be out a smidge further, right? And I can now shift my hips forward and down towards the bottom of the stick. And you'll see here, you can get a little bit of flex in the stick as well. So right hand up top. Okay. I'm going to, so with this back foot, drive it to the floor, squeeze that right glute. Now I'm going to shift my hips, not only forward, but down towards the bottom of the stick. So now we're going to start to get a little bit more of that anterior line. Okay. A little bit of that hip flexor, but again, we're still stretching the posterior blink, uh, sling. <sighs> Slowly come up. <sighs> Excellent. Okay. Let's go one more time here. Rotate the stick a little bit. Okay. Just because it is bowing a slight bit. Right hand is up top. Okay. If you want, you can grab the stick a little bit lower. Okay. As long as the arm's straight, you can grip a little bit lower here. So left hand is under. Drop that right hip towards the bottom of the stick. Get that big stretch in that back. Three, two, one. Slowly come out. Now we're going to switch sides here. Okay. So we're going to do that same thing. So remember, inside leg is down. Okay. Right leg is forward. So bottom of the stick is in line with the arch of the front leg. Reach up with the left hand or inside hand. Outside hand is gripping under it. Okay. So same thing. I'm going to drop that hip towards the bottom of the stick. Really get a good reach for those lateral tissues open up. For the upper back open up a bit more. Okay. And also you're not trying to keep a really tall spine. You're actually literally flexing your spine. You want some rounding here. <sighs> Slowly come out. <sighs> Good. Again, you can adjust the bottom of the stick if you'd like. Okay. So now we get a little bit more of that forward hip position. So left hands up top, draw that back foot down, squeeze that left glute. Drop that hip down towards the bottom of the stick and forward. <sighs> Bring the stick across a bit more. So now you get more rotation, a little bit of a bigger stretch. <sighs> Three, two, one. Slowly come out. <sighs> Excellent. Now grip the stick a little lower, right? Left arm remains straight. Okay. It is very, very important for that inside arm to remain straight as we do this here, as straight as you possibly can get it. All right, same thing. Okay, drop the hip towards the bottom of the stick. Reach. Breathe. Three, two, one. Slowly come out. Good. Excellent. So we do not need the pad anymore. So now I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of ninja flow and then a little bit of slap shot. Okay. So move this stick over to the side. 
So what I'm going to do, at least for a ninja flow, is I'm going to have the stick like so in front of my body. I'm gripping out as far as I can on the stick, as wide as I possibly can. Now, I'm going to stand feet relatively far apart. Again, this is whatever's most comfortable for you. Okay? So what I'm going to do from here, with my feet angled out, okay? And remember, you can always adjust your stance as you need to. I'm going to hinge back. Good. Okay, so you're going to feel a little bit of a stretch in the hamstrings. I'm going to take, I'm going to rotate to my left, place that right end of the stick on the floor, right by the end step of my right foot, and I'm going to shift and lunge to my right, okay? Really pushing off that left leg. Then I'm going to come back up to center, pick up that right end of the stick off the floor, rotate to my right, place the left end down, lunge to my left, push off that right foot, Good, back to center, pick up, do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm just gonna go back and forth here. Good, back to center. Rotate the left end towards the bottom of the stick. Lunge to the left. Good, back to center. And one more time. Rotate that right end of the stick towards the floor, towards the end step of the left foot, lunge to the right. Good. Back to center. Left end of the stick on the floor. Grab off that right foot. Good. Back to center. Stand back up. Now I'll bring the stick behind us. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the progressions here. Okay, so I'm gonna hinge back. Okay, still creating that hinge. I'm gonna to try to get this right into the stick as close as I can to that left foot. So again, only go as, as far as you comfortably can without any pain. So I'm gonna rotate the right end of the stick towards my left foot. Okay, pull the stick apart, lunge to the right. Good. Back up, back to center. We'll rotate the left end of the stick towards the floor or towards the right leg. One to the left. <sighs> Drive off that right leg. <sighs> Hips go back. Good, back to center. Back up, rotate that right end of the stick towards the right foot. <sighs> One to the right. <sighs> Good, back to center. Good, rotate that left end of the stick towards the right foot. Lunge to the left. Back to center. Good, stand up. Wiggle those feet back in. Excellent. And that concludes today's stick mobility class. Thank you everybody for joining me for today. I hope everybody enjoyed this class. I just wanted to focus a lot on recovery, just kind of get into quite a few different movements, just play around a little bit. Hope you guys had a good one. Catch you on the next one.